Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we'll see how can we add the course configuration in Spring Boot. And we will also call assign a PPI from Spring Boot in Angular. So let's get started. Let's go to our Spring Boot application. And here in the configuration package, I'm going to create here a class. So the class name is simple course filter. We need to implement with filter that is from jakarta.savlet. So let me add here the annotation that is a add the red component and the second we need to add here that is a order and here we need to select order dot high precedence okay so let me add here the code. Let's fix these issues. And you can see error removed from our simple course filter class. So the purpose of this class is we are just allowing our front-end application to access the back-end APIs. So we don't need to learn the things deeply. So let me close this and let me run the application and test this API from Angular. And you can see application is started in port 8080. Let's go to our Angular application. And here in the services, I'm going to create a method in our org service. So first of all, I'm injecting here private HTTP which line over here. So on the top, I'm going to initialize a variable that is a base underscore URL. And here I'm saving the URL of our backend application that is a HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8080. Let's save this. So here I'm going to create a method that is a register. So in the argument, it will receive an object of the sign up request. And it will be a type of any. So here we need to return this dot HTTP dot post method and in the argument we need to pass here the url of the backend application and the url of the api that is a slash api slash auth and slash sign up and you can see the mapping that is a post so we need to add here the url that is a slash api slash auth slash sign up and after that, we need to pass here the sign up request object. Let's save this. Go to our components and the sign up component over here. So here we need to inject our auth service in the constructor. So I've created here the instance of the auth service. So in this method, we need to call our auth service dot register method and here we need to pass the values of the form so let me copy the statement that is at this dot sign up form dot value we need to subscribe this save the response into this variable that is a res and here i'm adding console dot log statement print the result into our console okay so let's go to our URL and let me open here the inspect. Let's post a customer like Johan. Password over here, confirm password and the name. Let's click on this register button. And you can see the response we got from the backend. That is a ID5. So let me open here the database and you can see our customer posted successfully in our database. That is an email johan at the red test.com. Okay. So we need to show here the notification like 
customer posted successfully or something else and after the sign up we need to navigate the customer to the login page okay to perform this functionality i'm injecting here the message service so i'm creating an instance in our constructor and it will be a ng message service we need to import here manually So here we need to check in the condition that is rest dot id not is equals to null then we need to show this notification that is a this dot message dot success and in this we need to pass here the string that is a sign up successful and the duration of this message that is a five seconds and in the else we need to show this dot message about error that is something went wrong and the duration of this is same okay so we need to navigate a customer to the login page so here in the if condition i am adding this dot router dot navigate by url and here we need to pass the url of our login component that is a slash login so let me inject here the router in our constructor now you can see property id doesn't exist on the type object to remove this error we need to go our auth service and here we need to add observable that is a type of n okay and you can see error removed let's go to our ui and let's post another customer now i'm adding this email and the name zach and the confirm password over here let's click on this register button and you can see the notification service that is a sign up successful and it's also navigate us to the login component okay so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video i will attach the playlist link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye